previously. It's me. They're on the way. Oh, fuck you. And so we go. Hello, friends, my name's Internet, and welcome back to Bear With Me. Um, if for whatever reason you haven't seen the previous two episodes or any other episodes of, of anything I've put out this week, I am sick. So sorry for the voice and the bleh and the. Yeah. And uh, probably gonna have a weird video schedule this week, so just so you know. Um, yeah. So let's go back to Paper City. <coughs> Got some uh, hot tea over here that I'm about to drink, so that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, West Paul Casino. Also, Tygwin's Lair. Let's see if we can do anything with this right now. <sighs> Couldn't be clearer. Alright. I feel like I could use the feather on the air one. <coughs> <coughs> This would actually make sense if I was a lunatic, but let's play ball for now. Okay. And I use the chalk on Earth. I don't want to waste it. Or the shot. Maybe I could use the food to charm it a bit. Hmm. Nothing magical happens. Uh, do I have anything else? Maybe I could use the, this on the water. <coughs> Alright. Judging by that sound design cue, I'd say it fits. Okay. I don't have anything for fire yet. I guess I could use matches. There. I guess that's right. Uh, don't have anything for earth though, do I? Can I use a coin? I'm not throwing money away. Okay. I don't use a claw. Not sure what you're going for here. Uh, can I use stickers? I want to hold on to them a bit longer. <coughs> I don't want to waste it. Uh, can I use it in the middle? I don't want to waste it. <coughs> I, I want to there. hold on to the... Okay, fine. Alright, so there's some of the stuff. Can I actually use the sword on the No time one? for it. Or maybe the Swiss Army knife? Someone might get hurt. That's fair. Uh, all right. <coughs> Someone might. No time. Maybe the chalk. I don't want to wait. All right, with the shot. Let's go to the casino then. <laughs> As I suspected, seeking out Tiger was a waste of time. It came to a dead end. Literally and figuratively, it got the doll mad. I admire Amber. She'll be a fine detective herself one day, but sometimes she tends to rely on speculations too much. I understand why she feels this way though, seeing as we're still miles away from finding her brother. CBG's tip about the steel mill, however, proved right on the nose, although we found some evidence surprisingly overlooked by the ever incompetent PCPD. I can't shake the feeling they were set up a little too conveniently. Westpaw Casino matches and a voodoo trinket which suggest involvement of the infamous Reef King. <laughs> Shark? King is as smart as he is ruthless. A literal shark. And it seems to me, leaving all that obvious clues around doesn't really fit the M.O. of a man who eluded the hands of justice for most of his life. Something was fishy about all of this, but it wasn't the shark. This whole red situation seems like a perfect opportunity for someone to hide their tracks. Someone with highly political ambitions. Daniel Mills is a politician through and through, no doubt about it. I've known him for a long time, but knife to my throat, I couldn't tell you three things about him that you couldn't read in any newspaper. <laughs> That's why I could never <laughs> trust him, and I don't trust him now. That's fair. If the pig and the shark think they can turn Paper City into their own political battleground at the cost of people's lives, I'll take them both down. And what I... are you doing? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Why are you <laughs> sitting in the sound booth alone? Were you doing your diary thing again? It's not a diary. I needed some time to think. Can you close the door? Fine, can you hurry up? We have a case to solve. 
You can record your little diary later. Well, you just... God damn it. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Might as well just wrap it up. Relax, jeez. Take your time, <laughs> Anne Frank. <sighs> she ruined it. And you cut that out in post. Sure thing, buddy. I'll definitely remember to do that. Anyways, all the clues seem to lead to the West Park Casino. So, I'll play ball for now. Let's just see how all this plays out. And eventually, how deep fried this surf and turf dish really is. <coughs> Hopefully, come dawn, we'll be one step closer to finding Flint than we are now. Okay. <sighs> Professor Pigwood, Zach Zebra, Edward Elephant, Lioness Leah. Buddy Ben, Suey Stitches, Rhino Ron, Donkey Donkey, and a poster. And the tin. Who's that, Ted? <laughs> Zebra Zack. He's so hot right now. Who's that, Ted? Professor Penguin. Good man. Comes off as cold and distant, though. Who's that, Ted? Edward the Elephant. He runs the Paper City Bank. Who's that, Ted? That's Leia. <laughs> She's a designer from Beaverly Hills. Beaverly Hills? Who's that, Ted? Miss Kalia, the cat, runs a beauty parlor. Could use a treatment herself, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Ted, who's that? It's Ben, the bunny. He's a cousin. I didn't know you had a cousin, Ben. He's not my cousin. Okay. Who's that, Ted? Susie. She's addicted to plastic surgeries. It's a huh. miracle how she keeps <laughs> it together. Her life? No, her face. <laughs> who's that, Ted? Don't know the guy. Who's that, Ted? How do you not know Donnie? Should I? Don't you know everyone around here? I do. I just love asking you annoying questions. Wow, they really bring in all sorts of classy acts to perform. Yeah, it's almost as if the owner is going out of his way just to make it seem like he has class. Wow, they really bring in all sorts of classy acts to perform. Yeah, it's almost as if the owner is going... Knuckle locker. I love torches. Should we get it? Sure. There's nothing like a proper fire hazard in your pockets. Carrot juice for two fifty. The West Paw Casino. Shiny and inviting. Say hello. I love you too, kitten. We should talk to the monkey first. No getting around him. Literally. <laughs> I care. Sure you do. <coughs> Ow! So, you care. Company policy. So you don't care for me. I don't know you. Fair mm -hmm. enough. I'm Teddy Bear. I'm a private snoop and such. <coughs> Anyways, can you let <coughs> us in? It's an invitation only event, sir. Did you just mispronounce the word, sir? Maybe. I'm not a linguist. Okay. So, what do we need to enter? In order for the player to continue, he can speak to the shark's goon once. After he doesn't let them in, they can go around back to the alley behind the casino. There are several boxes in the alley. What are you saying, man? Uh, I'm sorry. I get lost in my own... Um... Thoughts? Yeah, I was going to say lines, but yeah. But you have to let us in in order to advance the plot. Fourth wall jokes don't work on me, guys. Move along. They are kind of hit and miss. Okay, fine. We'll be back. Bye, Mr. Henchman. So long, Mr. Amber. Miss Bayer. Hey, you two, uh, any luck with, um, whatever it is you're doing? We're trying to sneak into the casino. Um, ooh, maybe you can pretend you're the musical equipment for the stage, so the guys will carry you in. That's, wait, that's actually a solid plan. Thanks, big guy. Don't mention it. No, really, don't mention it. Mr. King will have my head. Knuckle locker. Hey, you- We're trying- Um, that's- Don't mention- Okay, then. I guess we're sticking into the casino. <coughs> okay. Amazingly, just trash. These are empty, Ted. And they're trash. Maybe we could use them somehow. Okay, let's look around a little bit more first. Talking door. What? 
Knock, knock. Who's there? To. To who? To who? Oh. <laughs> what a dumb <coughs> joke. You're dumb. Let us in, dumb dumb. What's the password? Password. What is this, a Bond movie? You need a password to enter the club from here, or you can go to the main entrance like a normal person. Up to you, buddy. And miss. Okay, fine. Is it... Blueberries? I like those, but that's not the password. Well, why not? Who's to say we can't make it our own password? Uh, I, I guess we could. Like some kind of special club. Yeah, exactly. And it'll only be the three of us. Yeah, we'll build a treehouse and you can be a door there, too. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Yeah, sure. Can you let us in, special friend? Sure, if you know the password. Forget it. Okay, so now what? Up to you, Willie. I wasn't asking you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's hard to tell because of the door and all. I don't know, maybe we can scam our way in. I don't think we can falsify the clearance for this one, doll. Okay, so let's get creative. Let's look around here. Maybe we can sneak inside somehow. You know I can still hear you. Well, I'd never. Why don't you mind your own business, pal? Um, that is kind of my business. He's got True. a point. Trick or treat. I'm not falling for that one again. Again. Yeah, I opened the door to give you candy and you hit me over the head with a shovel. Huh, a that's a good one. Should have thought of that. Trickered? Um, again. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Worth a shot. These ones are marked 13 and 14, <laughs> respectively. <laughs> Looks like instruments and lights and all sorts of stage stuff. Okay. Club entrance. This is confusing. Right? Is it the entrance to the club, or is the club called entrance? <laughs> okay, I guess. We are not going to look for lamps again <laughs> if that's what you're going for. Worth a shot. I guess let's get the boxes. I feel like I still need to do something. Uh... I, I want to hold on to them a bit longer. All right. <laughs> Trick or um, again. Yeah. Huh. Uh, ba -da, ba -da. Ah. <laughs> it reads only numbered boxes to be carried to stage. Hmm. Got an idea. I might. I'm not sure yet. If I do Someone this. might get hurt that way. Or not. Someone might get hurt. Uh... <coughs> there, nobody will notice the difference. Except for the fact that it's literally right there. Not sure what you're. Someone might. Oh well. I Worth feel like I still need to do something. That's what I thought. Amazingly. Uh. Stickers. Always the stickers. The perfect camouflage. Okay. In we go. After you, Bear. I mean, really, climbing into trash. Please and thank you. Wait, are these the boxes we're supposed to bring in? Yeah, they have numbers on them, don't they? Seems a bit strange, though. They look like trash. No, it's trash. <laughs> your attitude, Steven. Your mom didn't think so. Oh, real but sure. No wonder your dad left. Come on, man. I was like nine. <laughs> oh, wow. That was uncalled for. What the? Be quiet. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? What? Dude. It sounded like a bright 10-year-old girl and an alcoholic teddy bear. Your imagination, man. I swear. Let's go. I have band practice later.
Oh boy. Thank you, boxes. It's all the famous artists who performed here. Okay. Seems like there's going to be a show tonight. Oh, cool. Can we stay for a show? Can we? Mm. Oh, that's right. Seems like there's going. Oh, mm. oh, that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Seems adequate for Paper City. Just be careful it doesn't hit your eye. You mean like a big pizza pie? That's amore. <laughs> That's amore. This stage is literally impossible. Indeed. They really don't serve their purpose here. They re. Ooh, a bowl of nuts. Looks like peanuts. <coughs> Let's just grab a few of these. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep, okay. Level. <clears throat> I was gonna listen to the music, but fine. All right. Yoda Fox, Theodore Turtle, Wally Well. Theo, he's a scientist. I can barely tell the sisters apart. That's Fiora, I think. Wally works at the docks. I guess it's his night off. All right. I feel nervous around here. I feel... I feel... It looks delicious. Uh, to talk to Doris. That's the only other thing I could do. <coughs> Nothing new here. Okay. Alright, I guess let's go talk to Doris. Cashier. She handles the winnings around here. But mostly the losings. Yeah. Yeah, it is a casino. <coughs> Doris. Oh my, Amber Ashworth, as I live and breathe. Yeah, it's the good old me. Are you a special guest tonight? Um, sure, why not? She's special, all right. Oh, and who's that? Really? You know who she is, but not who I am. <laughs> oh, I know. You're the famous detective Ned E. Bear. Yep, that's old Ned. It's <laughs> Ted. Bless you, dear. <coughs> Miss Ashworth, how can I help you? We came to see Mr. King. I'm afraid Mr. King is in his quarters. Doing something totally legal, I bet. Ah, uh, ever since Miss Jones left us, he's been more and more secluded. Poor dear, such a shame. Tigrin? Oh. Well, yes, yeah, such a <coughs> wonderful woman, Miss Jones. Kind, beautiful, and wise. Easy. So wise. Just like you, Miss. Wise. Her. Are you sure you know who you're talking to? <laughs> Hush, Ned. The ladies are talking. Oh, for the love of... So Tigran and King are divorced? <laughs> Do tell. I'm afraid so, miss. Such a shame. We went to see her earlier today, but we couldn't find her. I guess she wasn't home. Oh, you're looking for Miss Jones? Could you... Could you give this to her? She left in a hurry and must have left it behind. It was a very special gift from Mr. King. What is it? It's a heart-shaped locket Mr. King got her for her <coughs> birthday. It has pictures inside. I just thought she liked to have it. Sure, ah. we'll take it with us. Thank you, dear. You're just so lovely. Well, there's the heart. Okay, she's lovely and wise and all that. Old lady, how do we get to King? I'm afraid you'll have to talk to his guard over there by the elevator. Poor Grotty, he must be so tired. And I bet he's hungry. Could you two get him something to eat if you find the time? Of course. Maybe he'll let you see Mr. King if you're nice to him. Sure, I'll cook him something nice. <laughs> As if I don't have anything better to do. Just Dead. be sure you don't use any nuts. They make him very sleepy. That's... that's really specific. All right, we have to go, doll. Yeah, it was nice talking to you, Doris. Oh, my sisters are not going to believe when I tell them I talk to the famous Amber Ashworth. <laughs> you could, like, not tell them, though. Hi, you two. Having fun? Oh, we're having a blast. That's nice. <laughs> Release the Kraken! Or, you know, rather, don't. Indeed. Okay, so if I go over here, will I get more of the seed as well? <coughs> 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 I 
Wait, Fiona and Fiora. I can barely tell the sisters apart. That's <laughs> Fiona, I think. <laughs> Should we take a spin, Ted? When in Rome and all that. Well, I'm not much of a gambler, but I guess one spin won't hurt. Do it. Let's find a use for that coin we picked up. I agree. All right, come on, Fortune. Woo! <coughs> that token. Let's not turn this puzzle into a crippling addiction. Oh, all right. Wow, pretty. Look at the pretty fish, Ted. I feel nerp. I feel. I click on all the security feel... cameras. Does it do something? I feel. I feel. Sebastian. Sebastian? He's a workaholic. He sure looks busy. Mr. Wolf usually keeps to himself. He solves problems. Percival works in investments. Seems like he's doing a fine job. Yep. Forget Fernando it. is one of the high rollers. Thanks to that inheritance. I thought that's everybody. I can't look at the bowls. Okay. <laughs> Can I use this token on one of the girls? Shouldn't we turn it in? All right, all right. Oris, they have a token. <sighs> so, we want this token thing. Can we exchange it for some cash? Oh no, that's our from stroller to high roller token. It's only good for our ice of spades <coughs> ice cream. It's for the kids. Wait, you let kids gamble here? Oh no, that's just one machine, so they don't bother their parents. We also have balloon animals. That's <laughs> terrible. You're basically teaching kids how to gamble. You know what? I will speak to Mr. King about it. It really sounds a bit shady. You think? So anyway, you want your ice cream? Yes. Um, yeah. Chocolate <laughs> or vanilla? Vanilla. Chocolate. Both. <laughs> oh dear, how about I just give you both? But don't tell anyone, okay? I would take one between the eyes before I'd rat you out, Doris. <coughs> oh my, okay then, I guess. Woo! Ah! No. Sorry. Not me to do that. <coughs> I bet I have to put the nuts in the ice cream. I remember the night King got that hand. I have to <coughs> hand it to that bastard. He's a really good card player. <sighs> It'll just make a mess. Ah, what's a shot? Do I look like I practice healthy habits? I mean, not really. <laughs> Going up. That okay. living mountain is blocking the elevator. Eh, what's the shot? Can I look over here? Can we take a break? 30 minutes. Tops. Nope. Come on, Graps. We'll rest later. Uh, I guess that's it here. That living mountain is blocking the elevator. Hello, Grod. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sir. Can we just scooch past you real quick? This is a restricted <laughs> area, sir and or madam. Please return to the main floor in an orderly fashion and enjoy the variety of our games. In West Ball Casino, everyone is a winner. I'm sure you meant winner. I'm sure you're right. <laughs> Dear God, man, you have to let us pass the president's life. Man. Ted, just give up. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. Never mind. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> Please let us pass, Mr. Bouncer, sir. Pretty please. For the love of have some dignity. Is that a vomit stain on your shoe? <laughs> it's a weight, is it? <laughs> I'm Special Agent Mulder, and this is Special Agent Scully. 
We're investigating a strange occurrence around here with them aliens and whatnot. We need to go upstairs to check for aliens. Sir, I mean, I'm not the smartest <laughs> guy in the world, but that was really uh, stupid. I, I can't believe... You have to, Dana. The truth is out there. Why? Why the X-Files? All right. The shift's here, buddy. You have a good one. It's always us that gets the late ones, huh, Dolph? I know, and I'm a mess. And the coffee here is just below any reasonable standard. How do they expect us to work under these conditions? Uh, I'm having a hard time believing you two are bouncers here. How come? Well, you're just so tiny. And she's a girl. Hey, so a girl can't be a bouncer? To be uh honest, you <coughs> would be the first one I've ever seen. Well, if you must know, I have a golden belt in karate. That's not even a thing. Girl can't be a bouncer. I could kick your... <coughs> what? Uh, nothing. Forget it. <laughs> You will let us pass. These are not the droids I'm looking for. And, wait, that's not what I said. <laughs> what the? You're even too stupid to hypnotize. Alright, I guess I could just use it outside of it. It'll just make a mess. It's ice cream. I'm sure that we can find a better combination of flavors. It'll just make a mess. <sighs> Do I look? Alright, alright. I'm sure that we can. Uh. Someone might get. Someone might get hurt. Alright, alright. <coughs> Off we go. <sighs> what do I do with the ice cream then? Maybe I can use it here? I'm sure that we can find. It'll just make him. Uh, Someone might get her. Okay, what about... No time for a sword fight. I'll... Uh, okay. Fine. Uh... I'm sure that we can uh. find a better combination uh. of flight... I'm sure that we can find it. It'll just make a map. Hey, okay. And I use it all oh, the fish. It'll just make a Okay. Give me whatever here wants my screen. I'm sure that we I'm sure that we Ah. I'm sure that we can. I'm sure that we can. There's gotta be something missing here, right? I'm sure that we can. Let's go back to the crypto room and see if I missed anything. This kid didn't even go back that way. I see it. Let's just take <laughs> this. Okay. You shouldn't play with food. It'll just. There. Now it's peeled. Why do you need a knife to peel a banana? Almost perfect. It just needs the final touch. I need to eat this, uh, like, right now. It's not for you. Besides, you're allergic, remember? Can I just have a little, please? <laughs> you can take me to the Paper City General later. Absolutely not. Amber's allergic to nuts. Banana split for you, buddy. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, guy. You look like you could use a break. You hungry? Oh, is that a <laughs> banana split? Sure yes. is. Can I, can I have some? You can have all of it. Enjoy. Thank you so much, guys. I love it. It's so delicious. Tastes like a tree. What is this? Yes, sir, right away. 
Well, that just happened. Let's go upstairs before he wakes up. I agree. Okay. Let's go and talk to King. That will go. <coughs> hey, King. Well, well, well. If it isn't the dynamic duo. King, how's the cover-up? I mean, the casino business. Hi, Mr. King. I love the new lounge. It's darker and much more sinister than the last one. <coughs> Courtesy of my interior decorator, Elsie DeWoof. Extremely talented woman. I'm a bit surprised to see you two here. Yeah, how come? I figured someone like you would be smart enough not to bring the girl into the city. With all the recent accidents. Accidents? <laughs> I just realized you two could have a deep, gravelly voice showdown. Like, who wore it better? Let me ask you something. How did you two enter the city? Seems to me you would need a clearance for that. Who says we didn't have it? <laughs> and who exactly signed that clearance, if you don't mind me asking? We mind. Hmm. Fair enough. You two didn't happen to come across two little bunnies on your amazing adventures, did you? Nope, haven't seen them. Do they work for you now? In a way. By your disposition, it seems like they're doing a lousy job. Come on, Bear. You know your little tricks won't work on me. It was worth a shot. I would be more careful with the phrasing if I was you. And what was it that the mugshots were supposed to do for you, King? <sighs> Don't you worry about that. How did you two enter my casino? We asked nicely. You always were a bit of a wise guy, Bear. Speaking of that, you say you're surprised to see us here, but I'm not really buying it. It's almost as if someone tipped you off. Have you forgotten this is my city, Bear? I know everything that's going on. And yet you don't know how we entered your casino. Besides, your city, your level of arrogance is unbelievable, speaking like that in front of her. I have as much respect and admiration for the girl as anyone. But don't tell me you haven't thought about what will happen in a few years, Bear. The girl, she can only give us so much before she grows up and forgets this place. Paper City needs a strong leader, a representative, if you will. I can take care of the city in her absence. Take care of the city in her absence? You mean the way you took care of the steel mill? What are you talking about, Bear? I had nothing to do with that. Mills is a friend of mine. You want Mills out of the picture so you can win elections next year. And you thought this would be the perfect opportunity to pin it on the red man. What's gonna happen when your buddy finds out you're trying to cross him? We found your matches at the crime scene together with this voodoo thing. <laughs> Girl... You honestly think I'd be stupid enough to leave all that at the crime scene? <coughs> Why would I even bother to go there myself? I could just send one of my boys here. Every word that comes out of your mouth is a lie, King. You're a criminal, and you will never be anything more than a criminal, no matter how many fancy suits you own. You brought that red freak to our city, and... Ted, stop it! <clears throat> you think I brought that monster to Paper City? You think I'm responsible for all this mess? I'm just a desperate man trying to make sense of all this. Same as you, Bear. We're nothing alike, King. Okay, stop it, you two. Mr. King, we're looking for Flint. We thought he might be here in Paper City. The Red Man knows where your brother is, girl. He told me so. I can introduce you to him. Red knows where Flint is? Don't you fall for his tricks, doll. He'll say anything just to keep you here. Is this money-making fortress you've built for yourself so important that you've gone and made a deal with the devil? You've made the deal with Red? How could you do that? Look at what he's doing to Paper City. <laughs> you really are a bad man, King. And a coward, it seems. Look at the mighty Reef King, trembling because of one man. <sighs> I had a 
enough of this, since our entertainment for tonight came down with a bad case of sore throat. The girl can take her place on the stage. You, on the other hand, I think you can go off in the basement for a while. You could use some time to think things through. You can't keep us here. I need to go and look for Flint. He could be in danger. <laughs> As if you have a choice. Take them away. I don't think so, King. <laughs> Ted, don't do this. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a threat, Bear? Have your goons take just one step and find out. Ted, please put the gun away. We can talk this through. <sighs> Listen to the girl, Ted. She's always struck me as a smarter of you two. You and me both, buddy. But it's not her holding the gun. Let me explain what will happen next, Bear. My boys will take you down to the basement, and then they'll take the girl to the rehearsal. But don't worry. It's cozy down there. I'm sure you're used to worse dumps than that. The girl, on the other hand, She's already a star, and we can make this a swan song. One last performance before she... leaves. I'm not leaving. Why are you saying that? He's working with the red man, Dahl. As soon as he separates us, he'll call for him to come and get you. But don't worry, I won't let this happen. King, I swear I will pull the trigger. Tell your men to stay put. Ted, please don't. can't do it. I'm sorry, doll. Don't be sorry. You did the right thing, Ted. We'll figure this out. Like always. Hmm. So heartwarming. You have nothing to threaten me with, Bear. Now, if you don't mind, it's time to fade to black. Okay, well, I think that's a great place to leave the episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. See you next time again. Bye!